the mess is always here no matter how many times I clean it anyway people went to a uh, tractor supply bought a bunch of grade 8 nuts and bolts and washers of, of 3 8 3 8 to half inch um, I'm gonna end up using 3 8 on uh, on those uh, I don't even know what I'm saying anyway I bought nuts and bolts and everything and uh, ended up buying a set of magnets more magnets because why not um anyway uh yeah so i'm just sorting out nuts and washers and stuff to that sort anyway um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and uh probably gonna just drill these tonight this way maybe I can relax tomorrow. We're gonna go to Huntington Beach on Saturday, I think, Saturday morning. The wife of me, she wants to go to some Goodwill places. Um, but yeah, pretty beat. Uh, ended up doing, I don't know if you guys saw that last video. Ended up cutting that, welding it on, TIG welding it. TIG welding skills getting little bit better so I guess right now I'm just gonna drill these uh, one two three four eight holes bolt all those up and then uh, yeah uh, the kids off next week so I don't have to fly out till Tuesday I think I fly out Tuesday and then start working Monday so I'm gonna see if the kid will help me put the bed on. So anyway, let me uh, drill these real quick. I'm gonna open the garage just a little. It's gonna get loud. Maybe. Yeah. Anyway, it's pretty warm. So I ended up paying for all these bolts. It's like 4.3 pounds of nuts and bolts was twenty six dollars at tractor supply which is a little better than if I would have went to Home Depot or Lowe's because Home Depot or Lowe's they charge per the piece uh, so I, I think when I bought these bolts and nuts well just the bolts and washers and whatever else um, I want to say I paid about thirty five bucks for uh, 16 sets of everything. Um, so I like Tractor Supply and Ace Hardware in them. Because they charge per pound. Um, $6.09 per pound. So 6 times 4.3 is 26 bucks. So G8 bulk. So anyway, um, yeah, let me drill those. Just so I don't have to do it tomorrow. This way I can maybe focus on uh, doing the wiring uh, on this truck and uh, for the wife's car. I do have to order, I don't know if it's the master cylinder or the brake booster. I'm assuming it's the master cylinder because it's leaking brake fluid up, up on the firewall of the brake booster. So you got the master cylinder and then you got the brake booster. Anyway, the it's leaking right at the between the master cylinder and the brake booster. I'm assuming it's a master cylinder because brake booster is just vacuum actuated diaphragm basically. It's not there's no fluids or nothing in there. So um yeah, let me uh drill all these out, remeasure them because I had to move that one. I had to play with that one a little bit, so let me remeasure them. Mark them all out and uh, yeah, I will show you guys. Drill them out. I'll put the bolts in. It's no fun watching people drill. It's like watching paint dry. So, anyway, I'm going to sort all these out and start drilling. Hold on, I'll be back.
All right, guys. It is hot out here. I think it's hotter here, hotter during the evening than it is in, in the morning. So I got all the bolts in. Everything's in. Everything's drilled. I'll tell you what, these were a pain in the butt to drill in here. Those were fine. That was a pain. That was a pain. I had to mark everything out. So there's lines. There's a line there, inch and a half back. So, as you can see, you got a straight shot to the shock perch mount, whatever you want to call it. So it's a much better, no, it's a much better angle. So going down rather than it being way over here and going down. So I think I can live with that a little better. Anyway, some, sometimes you gotta improvise, I guess. So now that all that's done, tomorrow what I'll probably do is I'll either clean up some tools. Um, yeah, I don't know. Either clean up some tools or uh, <clears throat> uh, what you call it. Um, do the wiring for the truck. Let me get my sharpie so I can mark this off. Oh, it's hard to hard to read, but it does say rear shock mounts done. It's not working because it's so hot. Put a little water on it. Oh, that doesn't work either. Anyway, that's done. Uh, holes for the hangers done. So I did forget to write on there. Let's see if I got another pen. What's this one? I think this is super well. That'll work. That'll work. So that's done and then five we'll do floor pan floor pan because I got to do the floor pan too so anyway what was pretty cool is uh, those max sockets I bought swivels that I bought at the swap meet last weekend came in handy handy dandy so anyway alright guys that's gonna be it for this video Make sure you guys watch my previous video over here somewhere I don't know where it's gonna be subscribe over here please subscribe down there thumbs up if you like thumbs down if you don't don't matter to me I'm making videos anyway ain't no one can get me butt hurt so and check out my boy one and Glenn alright guys thanks for watching Later.